Johnny here from Uno Media. In this video, we'll talk about how you build a form in Active Campaign and then place it within your website so that your leads can sign up for your automations. So stay tuned. At Uno Media, we help companies grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and online marketing techniques. From websites to automated sales funnels, social media content, and much more. We're constantly releasing new material on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to very quickly tell you about our exclusive offer. We are giving away free access to our paid Hub Uno platform for the first 50 people who click on the link in the description. This offer is going on all of our YouTube videos, so hurry and make sure you get your place. Within Hub Uno, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on email automation using ActiveCampaign. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click on that link in the description. Now let's get on with the video. Once you've created a list, the next thing you need to do is create a form, and the form is what users are going to fill in on a landing page or a website or a social media to then join a list and go into the automations. A form is anywhere users need to put in their details. For example, we've got a form here where they can put in their first name and their email address. That's all we ask for on this page. And we have a number of forms in here where they can put that name and email address. Now, you may want to put this on your social media, on your landing pages like this one, on your website, in your footer. Um, you can put these forms in a number of different places. But the idea is this is where they first put in their contact details and then hit the submit button and that starts off the automations in your system and puts them on a list. So one of the first things you want to do is create a form to get people into your automations. Now, if you click on the left here for forms, you're then going to want to create a form. I'm just going to call this form one. Um, the action you want is for them to subscribe to a list. The list I'm going to choose is our master contact list and then click create. And that master contact list will be um, the first list that most people have on here. So I'll click create. Now let's imagine they're signing up to a free ebook. So the first thing um, we're going to do is change this bit at the top. So over on the right here, I'm going to say subscribe for a free ebook. And then when you click on this bit to add this bit, you've got to um, change the part on the right here. So I'm going to go in between these P markers and I'm going to put in here, just I'm going to fast forward this bit, just type in a quick description. Right, so that's just a quick description of what we're going to know. Now, I don't actually want their first name in here. What I want, um, sorry, I don't want their full name. What I actually want is their first name. So I'm going to drop in their first name here. Now, when someone fills in this details and their email address, their first name and their email, this will go on then and add them into a contact as well. Now, the submit button, I don't love like that. So I'm going to want to change it a little bit. Now, you then go into your style. You can have them either like that, or you can have them next to each other like that to go to a different part of the page. I'm going to keep the background the same, keep the font color the same. Uh, I might actually change the border. So I'm going to make the border, let's just say a dark black color, and then add to the border a bit like that. So you can go solid, dotted, dashed, or double. I think double actually looks quite good, so I might stick with that, just increase the size of it a little bit. And I actually prefer boxes with a little bit of a curve, so that's starting to look good. It's always nice if they kind of match up with the button. And then the width. Okay, that looks that looks good. And then you can obviously change some colours about the um, button as well. So I'm just going to input a let's go for like just a greeny sort of colour. Uh, let's go for actually dark for the text and then let's change it to a greenish kind of color for the button. There we go. 
and to make it stand out maybe stick a little border on there as well let's go for a dark color and let's try and match it up try and match it up to the edges of here that looks nice if you want to increase size of it you can increase the padding okay that looks that looks good to me and then finally you go into the options where you say on submit it just will show a thank you one or it'll go to an open url an open url is if you've got a um, contact page you want to send them to and then um, submit to a list which list do you want them to go on to and you can add an action there and that's again if you want them to go on to uh, add a tag or um, any other result but you basically want them to subscribe to to a list and then you can either trigger automation now trigger automation will make this form the start of any automation but what you probably want to do is integrate it with somewhere in your system so we click on integrate now you can either embed it on one of your web pages so that's what you can copy and paste or you've got full embed you can then link it so link it anywhere you wish so you can send this out in an email or um, anything anything where you can put your link in you can put it on your wordpress pages where if you download the plugin you can actually get this form built on there or it's quite nice that you can have it put in facebook as well so if you follow the buttons at the bottom you can get this um, get this form embedded onto one of your um, facebook pages drive traffic to there or traffic that you've already got and can subscribe to your email list.